Possible Future HIV Cure After a person has been infected with HIV, they remain infected for the rest of their lives. In the 1970s and 1980s, HIV was a death sentence, but now we have medications that can control it. There is no cure or vaccine, and patients must remain on medications for their entire lives. Now, the development of gene editing may offer a way of removing or inactivating HIV in the body. HIV infection usually spreads via unprotected sex. After infection, the virus spreads throughout the body, infecting the immune system cells that are mobilized to fight the infection. When HIV infects cells, it inserts its genome into the DNA of those cells. The HIV virus lives inside these cells and any future cells when the original ones divide. People with HIV who are treating it with medication cannot spread the virus. A few weeks after infection with HIV, symptoms resemble the flu, which can last days to weeks. During this acute phase, people have high amounts of virus in their blood and are contagious. Next, HIV moves into a phase called clinical latency, where the patient feels better but the virus continues to reproduce and infect immune cells. This phase can last a decade or more. Some HIV-infected immune cells go into a resting state. HIV can hide inside these cells for years, and the virus can reactivate at any time to make more virus. Without treatment, HIV infection progresses to a third stage, causing AIDS. This destroys the immune system, making patients susceptible to other infections. The average survival time is three years. Medications keep the virus from replicating and prevent the progression to AIDS, but they do not eliminate the virus hiding in the cells. The CRISPR gene editing system was discovered in bacteria and scientists can use it to manually edit DNA in human cells. It can target a specific gene, and it can be engineered to cut genes, edit genes, or even cut and paste a different version of a gene. Gene editing with CRISPR has been approved for use in treating sickle cell anemia. Several groups across the world are trying to apply CRISPR gene editing to target the HIV virus and inactivate it. For example, scientists at the University of Amsterdam in the Netherlands have recently developed a CRISPR editing system that can be delivered into different cells in the laboratory to disable dormant HIV viruses lurking inside the cells. This approach could remove the virus and cure HIV infection. The next steps will be to determine if they can deliver the CRISPR editing system to dormant HIV-infected cells in animals. This will be difficult because the virus is in many different cells in many different organs. It will also be important to show that the treatment is effective against all strains of HIV, and of course that the treatment is accurate and safe. Then, and only then, could human clinical trials begin and perhaps finally cure HIV.